Carnivore has changed my life. Hey, hey family, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. For first time viewers, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cassie, I am one half of Carnivore Quest. My husband Larry and I have been eating a carnivore diet, sometimes keto, sometimes ketovore, and the occasional slip onto sad. And I want to talk a little bit about that. Today's video is kind of like a potpourri. I've got updates for you. I've got some exciting news coming up and I'm gonna need all of your help on this one. So be prepared to get your fingers ready and give me your opinion, your advice, anything that you got. We'll get into that in a little bit. Really the main focus of today's video is create your own traditions. Carnivore has changed my life, but it's also changed my lifestyle. You have to create new traditions in order to be successful. And, and when I do use the word success, I've, I feel I am successful. Yes, I am still overweight, but man, I'm learning. I might be one of those 10 year carnivores, who knows where it takes me that long to take off the weight. But the thing of it is I've not given up. I continue to fight. I'm not gonna keep that one about that. Really, I wanna talk about creating new traditions. Larry's 50th birthday was a few days ago and we had a couple of our kids over with their spouse and fiance for dinner. About six months ago, I decided to stop catering to my family's wants and desires for other foods. And it's not so much that I'm tempted by the food anymore. Not, not even close. I'm in a great headspace. It's more about not giving them garbage foods, carb laden, sugar fueled poison. I just, I can't do it anymore. It's, it's been a slow progression getting to this mindset because I was cooking the standard American diet foods. I don't even know if you want to call that food anymore. So this past holiday season, and what I mean by that, we're talking anywhere from Halloween all the way through New Year's, we held a holiday challenge. There was a post in our Facebook group from a member and she was asking for advice or encouragement, you know, that she doesn't completely blow it, that she's not going to eat the cookies because that's what they do every year. They have a tradition where everybody bakes. Not many people don't have that tradition. When you're living this lifestyle, you know, your traditions have to change. And that was one of the things that she was asking for advice. How can I get back on? And specifically one thing she had said was, don't tell me to make new traditions. Well, that's what I've been saying for months on end. You cannot continue with old traditions from your old life and apply them to your new life. Everything changes from here on out. Now that's not to say you're always going to eat meat and salt. Some people will probably go to keto, maybe even keto war once they have this food addiction broken. Now everybody's a little bit different on where they're at in their path. People have different food triggers. You know, some people aren't even phased by cookies while others you throw a pizza in front of them and that's just going to send them over the edge we're all different, but we all have the same goal in mind and that's to get healthy and many of us to lose weight. So it's nearly impossible to continue with the old in your new lifestyle. So with that said, this meal that I created for Larry, we did not compromise. And I guess you could say, yes, maybe we did a little bit because I added seasoning and we did add some dairy. And let me show you a little of what we made. But first I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Element. Element is a delicious electrolyte drink mix that comes in convenient single serving packets. Each packet contains 1000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. We've been using Element for over a year now and all their great flavors along with their science backed formula has kept us hydrated and feeling great. Element not only adds new dimension to carnivore beverages, it's also great for making guilt free carnivore treats. As always, Element is offering our viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight free single serving packets with any Element order. We love this offer because you can try eight of Element's delicious flavors before your next order. You can have Element and the free sample pack delivered right to your home using our link below at drinkelement.com forward slash carnivore quest. This is the perfect way to get the quality electrolytes you need and support our channel at the same time. So head on down to drinklmnt.com 
forward slash carnivore quest and get yours today. And Element has the best customer service. If for any reason you're not 100% satisfied, keep the product and receive a full refund. Thanks again, Element, for sponsoring today's video. As you see here, I have some Cajun shrimp. Now this is just sauteed in butter, but it's heavily seasoned. There's oregano, parsley, paprika, granulated garlic, granulated onion, and, and a few other items in there. No sugar at all, no MSG, none of that. But some carnivores would say that that is not even carnivore. Fair enough, you do you. Now we also had um, grilled chicken quarters. It was, uh, again, heavily seasoned. We use a very clean seasoning. It's delicious. So we seasoned up our chicken with that and I did some of the other chicken with this Kindred seasoning. It's the only seasoning in their line that didn't have sugar or any anti-caking agents or anything like that. It's the Chili Verde. It was absolutely delicious on the chicken. And then of course I made the carnivore devil, devil, heavenly, stuffed, whatever you want to call it. I made these eggs and I did it a little bit differently. This was absolutely the best version of these eggs I have ever made. So what made it different? Well, for starters, I used jalapeno bacon. I got this bacon from a local butcher shop and it's absolutely amazing. It was almost like a, a loaded stuffed egg. And here is the jalapeno bacon. I used butter and some of that bacon grease. Look at that bacon grease with that deep red color. It's, it was just absolutely phenomenal. And I also added some granulated onion to it and some cheese. So I used about two to three ounces of that cheese and it was spread throughout 24 halves. So a little bit did go a long way, but it added a lot of flavor and it was just mm, so good. Everybody loved it and I will definitely be making that again. So back to the chicken. We didn't add any sauce to it, but we did make a homemade buffalo sauce. And if you've not done it yourself, it's so easy to make. Melt some butter, add some hot sauce, mix well, done. Regarding beverages, our son Cody brought over some plain Topo Chico. Mm, yeah. That's what we ate on Larry's 50th birthday. It was absolutely delicious. Everybody was full. Nobody complained that there wasn't any bread or potatoes or rice or any additional sides that have no business being in really anybody's life. I did pick up a block of cream cheese and I gave Larry the option. I said, it's your birthday. Would you like to have some cloud biscuits? or should I make you an oopsie cake? He decided on an oopsie cake and I made a terrible failure with that. It was gonna be, you heard that word was, right? It was gonna be a chocolate mint oopsie cake. I used a couple packs of the element. I thought this will flavor it up so nicely. I made a fatal mistake. <laughs> I needed eight eggs and not four. So I had already whipped my egg whites and I was in the middle of filming and I was kind of in a rush because it was getting close to dinner time. I thought, I gotta get this in the oven so we can have it. I'll have time to cool off. Well, and I don't know where my head was at this point, but for whatever reason, I already had my egg whites at nice stiff peaks. They looked perfect and beautiful. What I should have done was beaten the other four egg whites separately and then incorporated them. I did not do that. Well, it turned more into a pancake batter. I wouldn't call it an epic failure because I ate it. I thought maybe we could do like a layered pancake. It just, it did not turn out good. Our son Cody really liked it and I nibbled on it because I thought I'm not gonna waste it. I'm gonna eat it. So it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but I think I could definitely do something with that. I, I kind of like the texture of it and I might play around with that a little more. So that was our meal on Larry's birthday party. Again, I didn't compromise. I created new traditions. Kids know from here on out, you know, if you want sides, you're gonna have to bring them yourself. I'm not gonna make them for you anymore. It just doesn't sit right with me. I, I just, I can't do it. I cannot do it anymore. It took me a long time to get into this headspace and I'm so thankful that I'm there. Since we are already having a dairy heavy day, at least that's the way it seems now, I decided to treat myself and since I'm no longer having coffee, I think I'm right around the 60 day mark and I made myself a chai latte. I used half a pack of Elements chocolate chai, two chai tea bags, and then I topped it off with some heavy cream. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I wish I hadn't discovered it. It was a little too good for my liking. So if I don't have cream in the house, which we almost never do, 
I'm safe. I'm safe. But I will definitely use that as a treat. If I'm craving something sweet, if I want something a little bit different, if I want to loosen up, absolutely. That is going to be my go-to. Okay, lastly, and this is where I'm going to need some advice and your opinions. And I just really want to get a feel for where y'all are at. How many of you are single in this carnivore, ketovore, or in the keto lifestyle, and you're finding it difficult to find a match? Larry and I, we've been together almost 22 years. I don't even know what the dating scene would be like. And I feel for my kids because I know it's got to be hard. I mean, things have changed from 20 years ago when Larry and I had first met. I mean, people actually met up face to face. It was usually somebody local or somebody you worked with. I mean, that's where Larry and I met. And I talked to my son-in-law who is an IT guru. He's built a website for the company he works for now. It's amazing. He gets high praises. I know he's good at it. He said, well, what do you think about this idea? You know, a carnivore dating website. We had discussed it. He thinks it's a great idea, but we never acted on it. We are currently in the development stage of building a website. Now it's not going to be a dating website, although that is going to be an aspect of it. You know, there are a lot of families out there, carnivore families who are looking to connect with other folks. Well, we're just looking to create one spot where everybody can come together, whether it's families for dating or just friends online or physical meetups with friends, you know, couples. I believe that having like-minded individuals in your life is so important, especially when you're living this lifestyle, you need some accountability and you need to be able to talk with other people and you can go out and have a meal together or go to the park and cook out. We are in the development stages of building a website and it's gonna be named The Meeting Spot. So my questions are, what do you think about that? Is that something that you might be interested in? And what advice might you have? Maybe some recommendations of things that we can put in there. Like one added bonus we'll have in there is where you can find a carnivore doctor, carnivore friendly restaurants, you know, events that are happening. So there's a lot of work to do. There's red tape and it's much more involved than I thought it would be. There's regulations and legalities and all of that. So we're trying to work all of those kinks out right now. We're hoping to have it launched within a few months, maybe three or four months max. So by the end of summer, we should be up and running and I'm excited, but I need your help. Lay it on me, give your opinions, give me your advice, your likes, your dislikes. Let's make this thing happen together because just like with the carnivore diet, we needed your help with that. We're going to need your help with this too. And I just, I think this is a fantastic idea. I'm so excited for this because it's just going to be cool. Who knows? You might have somebody three blocks over who is a carnivore and you have no idea. Let me know what you think. And if you made it this far, thank you, my meaty family. I love you all so much and I appreciate you more than you know. And until we meet again, no sugar, no carbs, no cheating. Love y'all.